All right, welcome back. I have another uh, consigner tale. So, like I said in the prior video, my first consignment experience was with Greg Morris cards, all in all, positive experience. So, you know, I was, when I got that um, last uh, PSA order back that had all those 1986 FLIR cards, I think it was like, oh, this is like 90 of them. I was like, well, that consignment experience was, was pretty, uh, was pretty easy, right? And I'd really, I really don't feel like doing 90 different eBay listings because um, the intent with those was always to just to get them in and sell. I have no interest in uh, having any 86 FLIR cards in my, in my collection anymore. Just, just didn't. So I figured let's, let's just try to, you know, raise as much cash as we can, fund other purchases and, you know, other stuff, right? Um, so I was looking around, you know, on eBay for, um, for sharp corners is a uh, pretty big consigner and I have bought a few things from them and I know that, uh, they only deal in graded cards. So I figured, well, let me, let me look at what their rates are and so forth. And it turns out that their offices are in Attleboro, Massachusetts. So I live in Providence. Attleboro is literally like 15, 20 minutes, um, from my house. So I was like, I gave him a call. I'm like, you know, like, can I just drop by a big old order and, you know, and fill out the forms and just drop stuff off? Because I certainly, you know, I had a lot of cards that had some significant value. I didn't really want to throw them in a, in a giant box and, you know, rely on the shipping services as they are today. Because, I mean, don't, don't even get me started on FedEx Ground. I mean, not that I would ever use them because FedEx Ground service is just dog shit. Um, but... You know, I still didn't want to put thousands of dollars of cards in the mail, right? So, um, so they said, yeah, sure, come by, right? We're open from 9 to 5, right? You want to come in and we'll, you know, somebody will be at the front desk. You can drop it off as long as the forms are filled out. So I gathered a, all those, those um, FLIR cards. It was a bunch, a whole bunch, and um, got them to them. Cards were listed within a few days, and... Um, and the, you know they they all sold. Most of them were pretty much as expected. I mean, I think at that point in time, which was, which this was, um, what back in April, the market was you know sort of in the middle of that decline that seems to keep you know is is continuing on some cards. Um, got decent prices on them, and uh, in the end, I got an email that had a big had their um, had a summary. Uh, or not a summary, details of the entire uh, order, right? So if you're, you know, your 1986 Fleer Jack Sigma PSA 8 sold for uh, 35.77, the fee is 15%, so you net $30.40, right? For the um, Andrew Tony PSA 9 that sold for $51, the fee is 13%, right? So you net 44.37. Their fees are generally between. Um, I think it's like 10% and 15%, more or less. Um, when a card sells for, I think it's under $15, they charge you uh, $2 plus a 10% fee. So in the case where I had a 1981 Topps, hey, Jack Sigma, PSA 8, sold for $12.38. The fee was $2 plus 10%, so I netted $9.14. But you get a nice... Um, a nice detailed list, and then, uh, you know, again, it's... Um, it was, every, the payment was PayPal. So that experience was so good, I decided to do it again. And um, when I got back a bunch of cards, uh, a bunch of the things that I had graded f at that $50 level with PSA with the intention of reselling, uh, a, lot of, a few of the jambalayas, some of the essential credentials and the precious metal gems, not of the players like uh, Artemi Panarin that I, you know, I wanted, that I'm really holding on to in the longer term, but some of the, some of the PMG Reds that, you know, I wanted to, uh, that frankly didn't really grade as great. Uh, it didn't, it didn't turn out as financially successful as I thought, but again, that was like a 13 card order. Um, did the same thing, dropped them off. Uh, the stuff got, got listed and, uh, you know, a few weeks later they got paid and I got paid. Um, for these cards, since all the cards sold for over $140, the fees were 
except for the, uh, the Bobby Orr uh, Essential Credentials, which was numbered 104, which sold for uh, you know, over $3,000. Uh, the fee on that was, was uh, 10%. All right, so in the end, like if I were to do all this stuff myself and um, forget about the time, but even just from a pure financial perspective, Right, eBay is charging me more in fees than these consignment places are. So, they obviously have good deals with with eBay, where they are uh, they get to operate on the platform at a better price. And um, the four sharp four sharp corners experience gets uh, two thumbs up. If I were choosing um, a consigner to uh, use in the future, which um, which I probably will be over the, you know, maybe in the next three months, do another uh, another bit of uh, of selling. It's going to be four sharp corners, and um, you know, hey, feel free to tell them I recommended them. Hope you are you got some value out of this um, video. Hope this helps you in any consigning dilemmas that you might have, and I will see you guys soon.